Yes, exciting news as the annual Durban International Film Festival kicks off today with a wonderful array of films and documentaries from both local and international providers on offer. Now, one such film that will be receiving a quite a lot of attention is one called Love the One You Love, co-starring Lo Fenter, and it's a thought-provoking meditation on love, happiness in the new South Africa. And we thought to take a sneak peek before we talk to some of the cast members and the director. Take a look. Okay. You're such a couple. What are you guys then? <laughs> what would you classify yourself? A couple. Oh. Lovers. <laughs> what we well, I don't know. I think we don't know. I strangers. Think strangers. Strangers. Strangers in love. I think we're just. <laughs> Listen, how's your sister? Ah, Mesh. Yes, Mesh. How is Mesh? Of course. She mentions okay, you like in passing all the time. She, okay. Like. How's it like with you guys? Like, where does the like intensity come from? I'm just feeling a little. Trapped. We're not perfect. What's perfect? Perfect is maybe us. So you're single? It's a list of all the people that are, that are meant to be together. Do you want to love me? Do you want to love me? Don't start something that you're gonna regret. Oh, we're gonna play this game or what? <laughs> So it's called Love the One You Love, and it'll be, of course, for you to see at the Durban International Film Festival. We've got director here, Jenna Bass, with us. Also joining us are cast members, Chi, Muhammad, and Andila. Good morning and welcome to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jenna, I'll start off with you first. Uh, I don't know, does the movie try to answer the question of what is love? Because we've, been, we've all been trying to kind of figure it out. <laughs> Movies are telling us this, our friends are mm. telling us something else, books are telling us something else. Give me a bit of a perspective behind the story. Yeah, I think it was definitely in response to that. I think it was, for me, it was more like looking around at everyone and everyone being just so calm about the fact that love exists in our lives and, you know, kind of just getting on with it. And for me, I was just, was just like freaking out about that all the time and just like feeling like there was all these rules that yeah. I was supposed to know that I didn't understand. Um, the film was sort of a way of trying to answer those questions for myself and also just looking at the way that the way that we've idealized love and sometimes we're chasing after this perfect version of it which doesn't even really exist wow. and kind of i think coming to terms with that and being like you know that's actually okay i think there are people <laughs> so at home who are sitting now but no it does exist of course it does i don't know i'm not sure anymore <laughs> i'm very confused now <laughs> <laughs> looking looking at uh, our two couple or our, our couple uh, the love didn't work out because clearly they've got a dividing line here. <laughs> she and Andy Leo are sitting apart, but I'm going to bring you guys together in this conversation. <laughs> Tell me about your characters and what it is that they go through, how they go about defining love. Well, at the start of the film, they are trying to deal with whether to stay together and exist together. Yeah. And then they are challenged by this conspiracy theory and their love being somehow brought together and pulled together by the, the rest of the world, yeah. whatever that might be. And um, did, did this kind of think? challenge your, your own ideas on what love is and how love should be pursued? Definitely, but I, I think it just made us realize that there's not too much that should be yeah that, that that should be considered mm. i think you should just let it happen just let it yeah. happen yes <laughs> okay okay <laughs> well, would you agree on that on that sentiment I mean? yeah no definitely definitely i'll, I'll truly agree on that uh, and, and 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 just to add on on that i'll just say like it 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 it, it, it brought to me that the fact that uh uh you 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 don't know when you're gonna fall in love yes you fall in love when you're not looking to fall in love this is true that's what came out of the character we're playing because Sandila was not looking for to fall in love yeah. and he just found himself in love. And then Diane, you come in then, you play the, cap, uh, the, the character of, of Mo, but I believe that there was, I mean, and when you see it as well looking at the, the preview, there was, there's a certain element of realness. The fact that you guys were doing mm. this without script, I understand. Yeah. How, how did yeah. that add to the feeling of, you know, how you perform in front of camera? Yeah, we did a lot of improvisation and it ended up with us really putting out a little bit of ourselves into the characters. Yeah. And <laughs> for a, uh, So Andy, you say, oh, we are such a couple. <laughs> <laughs> was that you? Yeah. Yeah. No, we, we actually became a couple. <laughs> well, well, that was what was so strange about it as well, is that the film, I mean, the, the story of uh, Terry and Sandile is about this couple who start to think that someone's forcing them to be in love, and obviously what that does to their relationship, but yes. they're also two actors who have to now pretend to be in love, and sort of have been like, I've forced them to pretend to be in love, so it was kind of strange, weird dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly give me a quick summary. Who do you think should go and watch this film, and when can they watch it? 
Uh, well, the first opportunity will be at the Durban Film Festival on the 20th of July mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock at Sunco Cinema. Um, and who, I mean, Jeez, I, I mean, I would love to say everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, because I mean, we are all looking for love, right? Yeah, I mean, and that's kind sense. of also why we chose this topic because I think South Africa, like, we don't really have like a South African film-going audience. You know, I think every, you know we've still got a lot of divisions between like who likes to watch what, and, yeah. you know, for a lot of reasons, and f which is why I made a film that you know deals with love in, in a weird way. Mm -hmm. Let me say that it's not mm -hmm. like a conventional rom-com in, in any yeah. sense of the word, but that's something that I think you know, love is we all we all get that. So yeah. just to add briefly, mm -hmm. I think one of the most important things about the film that Jenna gave to the actors is that she wrote stories for yep. actors and friends and people she thinks don't usually fall under the mainstream commercial yeah. ideology. So you'll definitely filmmaking. be getting something different from it. Exactly. Thank you so, so much, guys. Thank we really appreciate it. So yeah. the 20th and 26th of July at Suncoast in Durban, then also on the 21st of July, that will be Ekaya in Kwamash. You'll also find more details at durbanfilmfest.co.za. Right now, let's move over to Ilana and Leanne. We're all looking for ideas of what to do, guys, for Mandela Day. What are you guys doing? 